On a verdant hill facing the open spaces of the Negev, on the outskirts of Sderot, lies Ibn village, Kfar Ibim. The village has for the past 20 years been the first home in Israel for thousands of new immigrants and serves as student housing. The neighbors to the north are the cities of Ashkelon, Erez and Kibbutz Yad Mordechai. With Kiryat Gat to the east and to the west is the Gaza Strip. Ibim will be the first home in Israel for the new immigrants soon to arrive from Ethiopia, the last group in the special operation to bring all the Falish Mora to Israel. Karen Yasod UIA has taken upon itself the special project of bringing all of the Falish Mora to Israel. As the operation is nearing its end, as we are closer than ever before to the target date, the date marking the closing of the camp in Gondar, right now our biggest efforts are focused on the absorption in Israel of the Falish Mora. Right now, we are engaged in the issue of how to make absorption smoother and easier, how to learn the lessons from the past years, and how to make the newcomers part of Israel. How can we make it clear that one chapter is closed, the chapter of Ethiopia? Now a new chapter is about to begin, the chapter of Eretz Israel. The new arrivals from Ethiopia have walked a long, long way. Women, children, old people. They have undergone indescribable hardships. הצפיפות הזו שכולנו יושבים יחד, מפחד, מחיות טרף, מפחד מהשודד, בעיקר משפחה, משפחות שיש להן ילדות צעירות. In Gondar, they lived in overcrowded huts, seven or even nine in one hut. They went hungry. There is still no indoor plumbing or facilities. The water still has to be brought from a distant well. After leaving their home villages and wandering on the roads for months, they had to wait for years in Gondar. In groups organized by the Jewish Agency, they lived on food distributed by the Jewish Agency kitchen in Gondar. As they waited for their turn to leave for Israel, for Zion, for Jerusalem. Falish Mora declared eligible by Israel's Ministry of the Interior, according to criteria the government had set, went to classes in Gondar, led by Israeli teachers. The Jewish Agency set up a clinic and a school in Gondar. Volunteers from Israel assisted the 450 children who remained in the camp, and they taught them about Israel. They taught them Hebrew, prepared them to be absorbed into the Israeli education system. Get us out of here, they begged. Take us to Jerusalem. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for the present, the past, and the future activities and donors that you are sending us. We hope to see you here and to be our partners in all the activities that we are doing. The last effort to complete the operation in Gondar is one more example to Karen Ayasod's devotion to the State of Israel's important national objectives and assisting in implementing the June government decision. Now, the project of absorption is the main target. This is no easy operation, and we don't expect it to be short. This is an operation demanding determination and persistence. These are exactly the elements that make up the Karen Ayasod UIA. Music